how's it going a friend of mine has been sent over this awesome airsoft bow called the shrike to review for a magazine that he writes for and i was lucky enough to get up close and personal with it and get a few shots in with it too you got to pull this right back to your eye yeah and then you've got to <laughs> fight down the side of the tube well, yeah that's how i taught everyone how to load gas mate. the lefty people... the lefty oh no yeah that's right yeah yeah Grip the apple, grip, grip the arrow. Like can. this? No, the arrow. Like this? You pinch it, that's it. Pinch the arrow, it's, it's the easiest way. Right. So where do I scope in? You you pull the string right back to your right eye. Right oh, eye, oh, cast side of your head. Side of your head. Side of your head. Of your head. that's it. And, where's, and the, where's the sight? There isn't one, just sight the <laughs> on there. So that went some that, distance. That went high. <laughs> Oh, that was so oh. close. One more. Oh. That went way high. There, there it's is. Hard, isn't it? It's pretty tough, yeah. It's like it's a hopper fed system, so it's like. All right, so the BBs go inside there. Yes. Okay, and it feeds just one. One at a time. One it at just, time. Sometimes it doesn't feed because it just it just naturally falls down a the hole. There's no nozzle. It just falls down into there. And then the air just pushes it through the bucking. And there's no, there's no, there is a, there's no adjustable hop on it at all. Yeah, yeah. Well, there is an adjustable hop. Yeah, yeah. Just the wheel here, and the arm uh, goes down there. Okay. What? It's and it's just got a normal, thing. normal AG, AEG barrel in there. Yeah, that's normal a normal AEG bucking. Five oh nine Mad Bull type bore barrel. VSR style bucking or AEG bucking? It's a G and G green. AEG style. No idea where that went. Oh, like it went very high right. If you look at the blue disc, it was like two o'clock. Probably done. Sixty-five meters. Is it seventy meters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. You can just about see the blue disc to the right-hand side of the screen. There, it's about twenty-four inches across, which is about sixty centimeters, and it's approximately sixty meters away. Although, because of the way the bow operates, it was very inconsistent at sixty meters. Sometimes it was falling short, and sometimes it was flying well over the target. Because it all depends on how much you pull that bow back and i think with a little bit of practice you could get pretty good with it though yeah i like the um premise of it yeah and there's this is your um, speed loader so it's like you can pop oh, this out what yeah oh, sponge oh cool out. so the bb's yeah, all right pull the arrow pull the arrow you load that up and it gives you the perfect amount to hopefully guarantee the best feeding and you just poke them through into the hopper or you just pour them in i suppose yeah yeah bit of a gimmick but it's also a tool for measuring how much ammo you want to put in yeah. What is the maximum you can get with a full pull? Any idea on, on FPS with a no full? Idea. No. It's yeah. alright, isn't it? Bro, no. <laughs> Two, four, three. With a point three. On the Chrono, the Shrike measured 243 feet per second with a 0 0.3 gram BB, which is less than one joule. This is fun. I like it this. Yeah, Definitely a specialised type of game, though. Oh yeah. Yeah, but you've got Cowboys and Indians. Can you set the yes. three? <laughs> yeah, this might not be as skirmishable as it would. As we I'd could like do like a. Be, but... I'd like to see a medieval type skirmish, you know, where axe, Long swords, melee yeah, weapons. Yeah. yeah, and the more practice with it, the better you're going to get at it as well. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I know what I'll be buying. The Shrike Bow is made by Fossil Works Projects, and I'll link their website in the description below, so you can go and check them out for yourselves. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.